Hi, and welcome to the vlog. I'm actually at Wheaton Aston at the moment, and I'm about to edit the uh, the vlog that you're just about to watch. Um, but before we start, I thought I'd uh, do a few thank yous to the channel supporters. First one being Brian Pyle, very good friend of mine, uh, who has really, really helped me out in this last month. Yeah, ever such a nice guy. I can't thank you enough, Brian. Cheers, buddy. Um, John McCall. Thanks a lot, John. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, through buying me a coffee, we've got Chris Conlon. Thanks, Chris. Morris Arnold. Cheers, Morris. Brian Luke Williams. Cheers, Brian. Annie. Thanks, Annie. Lindsay Mason. Thanks, Lindsay Mason. Kevin. Cheers, Kev. Vic Jones. Good old Vic Jones. Cheers, buddy. Uh, Glenn, thanks Glenn, and Anonymous, so you know who you are, thanks for supporting the channel. And then um, we have two more uh, subscribers, uh, Wensbury, I will say this wrong, Wensbury Pushbike, there you go mate, <laughs> got it, um, who actually came round to the boatyard um, to see me at Ashwood Marina, and uh, yeah, thanks for that, mate. Really nice to um, uh, meet you, and uh, thanks for uh, helping the blog. And then, of course, Andy T. Pilgrim. Hope I got that right, Andy. Um, who came to see me at Swindon and bought me back, but bought me round some butty back beer, which I thought was absolutely great. I was meant to do a lot of work on my boat that day, and that went out the window as soon as Andy left. <laughs> so uh, they went down very nice, mate. Thanks for helping. Right, okay, you don't want to see me sat here babbling on, so let's uh, roll the vlog and uh, hope you enjoy. See you in the next one. Hello, and welcome to this week's vlog. We are in uh, uh, Brood at the moment. We've uh, we actually moved. Um, the bridge in the distance behind me, that's, uh, that's where we were moored. I moved up about half a mile because I wanted to get a load of washing done because the sun was out. And the uh, you know might as well make the most of it and uh, get the washing done. And uh, yeah, I did two loads of washing and I put it on the, uh, the clothesline on the back of the boat. And then I uh, went down the pub for a couple of beers. And then came back at night. Went to sleep. Woke up in the morning. Went to get my washing in. And I'd moored under a tree, which uh, was the home of quite a lot of brooks. Uh, crows and um, they crapped all over my washing so um, I thought I've got to move and wash it all again but I'm not going to dry it under this bloody tree so yeah you have to excuse me I'm eating my uh, pepperami at the moment mm. spicy lips and hoops so um, yeah we've been here a couple of days chilled out we've got a little campfire anyone that follows me on Instagram you'll see a picture of that and today we're going to go, I think it's two, three miles up to Wheaton Aston. We actually moved the car up to Wheaton Aston earlier, so Berlingo, the little Berlingo car I got, he's up there now. Oh well, it's just spicy this is. Oh, Great that in the morning. So anyway, let's get the engine started and uh, crack on up there. Oh, and um, thanks to the uh, chap on the hire boat that went past me at a billion miles an hour the other day. <laughs> it's been excellent, eh, mate? Let's go! Just for you, Bill Price. Any luck, mate? Yeah, I've had a few Good on you. Yeah, Only a week in Aston. I'll be in the coaching horses tonight. <laughs> and there's a boat coming, and we're going to meet on a bridge just for a change. Is 
it my bridge or his bridge? I've let the boat go in front of me, I've waved him on, flashed my lights, peeped my horn. I don't know what he's doing. He'll be here in a minute. Well, I peeped my horn and I flashed my lights and I pulled over to the side and he just sat there. So, uh, I suppose I better go for it. Oh, yeah. Arch has got a thing about digging holes in my, well not digging holes in the mattress but pulling in a duvet and the sheets off of a mattress on the bed and making it up into a big mound and then snuggling underneath it. So when I, if I don't close the bedroom door, which I've got to do, the bedroom door is open. Got nice fresh sheets on there today as well. And uh, when I go down into the bedroom after I've been cruising, it's like someone's dropped a hand grenade off in the bedroom. So uh, I have to make sure he um, <laughs> stays at the bloody bedroom. But we're not, we're not going far today. We're only going to Wheaton Athens, so it's just up the road. We're just coming up to Stretton Aqueduct at the moment, and there's a lovely big traditional boatyard here. Always seem to be very busy, so they must be good at their job. What do you think you're doing down there? You better not be in my bed digging holes. You'll be in trouble. I'll kick your ass. Come on, out you get. What a gorgeous day. like the space I want has been taken but uh, I can either go in here or I think a bit more sunshine if I go in the next one. Well that's us moored up for the night. Thanks for watching. Alright boys.